Welcome back to the channel on this fine Thursday evening. I'm coming through with another video and we're going to get straight into this topic. I talk to a lot of you guys over phone calls, even over messages. I just get a lot of questions and I talk a lot with clients. And from my own experiences of talking with you guys, a lot of you guys aren't fully understanding what narcissistic people and people with personality disorders are really about. You guys must just think it's curable because it's not that easy. And a lot of you guys think no matter how much I do, it's just never good enough for this person. And you guys want to fix this person. And that's the biggest mistake you'll ever make in your life because in the process of trying to fix and trying to help somebody with a personality disorder like narcissism or sociopaths, psychopaths, when you try to change these people, you lose yourself in the process. You pretty much throw yourself under the bus because you spend so much time and energy trying to change these people that you're taking time off of yourself. You're taking time off of your own growth and you get lost in that. You get lost in their delusional world. And you forget about real life. The worst mistake you guys are making is trying to follow through with that. You guys want these people in your life for whatever reason. Because you think they're going to change. But they're never going to change. You guys might want these people in your life because you think you'll not find anybody else like this person. But that's so far from the truth. You have to let go of this person in order to find another person. You have to let go of this person and develop yourself as a better person in order to find a better person. It's just how it works. There is no mistakes in this life. We get what we are. And if you want change, you're going to have to go through some uncomfortable moments in your life maybe of loneliness, maybe of being isolated for a year, two years, maybe three years, whatever, whatever God has in store for you. But as long as you stay on the path of trying to forcefully fix one of these people, you're going to get lost. And a lot of things are going to go wrong in your life and you, you'll not understand why. And you're going to start to feel the effects of how they actually feel. You're going to start to feel like that. You're going to start to lose yourself. You guys really, I know you guys sort of get it, but you don't fully understand that they are incapable of love. Narcissists are incapable of love and appreciation. They don't actually love you and they don't actually appreciate what you do because they are that empty. They cannot give you those things. And they never truly cared about you in the first place. Ever. And it's a hard thing to understand. But you have to understand that that's the truth. No matter what you do, no matter how much love you give them, no matter how much materialistic things you give them, no matter how much things you buy them, it could be other things, it could be trips, you could buy them a vehicle, it does it, it could be anything. It's never going to be enough. They have a hole in themselves. As a human being, they have a hole inside of them that cannot be filled. Because they have to fill in that hole themselves. Are they willing to do that? The chances are, no. Most of them never change. And it takes something serious for one of these types of people to change. And if they do change, they have to stay on this path. A path of discipline. 
because they can fall off just as fast as they rose up if they stopped doing the things that got them there. You have to maintain a certain persona about yourself as a human being to stay above this low level life, this scum of a life that they live at. There is no excuses for being there. Some people do have messed up upbringings, but these people have to understand what they've been brought up in and then fix that situation. Easier said than done. But if they really want it, they will do it. And if they don't really want it, they're not going to do it. And it's that simple. If they really want to do it, they're going to get help. If they really want to do it, they're going to self-educate themselves and rewire their brain and their upbringing and start off fresh, a brand new life. Whatever happened in the past, happened in the past. And they're going to move on from that. I don't want you guys sitting around wondering why things cannot change with this person. I've talked about what I'm talking about right now with a lot of you guys on the phone. And I can just tell by your guys' voices. I'm not saying all you guys, just the people that I've talked to. And not even every single one of you guys either. Some not, but some yes. That you guys really believe that these people are going to change or that you can change them. You have to understand that it is not like, it's not what you think. It's much, much worse than you think. And these people are much, much worse than you think for your own well being. Cut them off and see how much happier you get immediately. You might actually miss them the first day or maybe the second day. But once you keep going and they are out of your life, you're going to see a massive difference. You're going to have a glow up. You become like a zombie when you are attached to one of these people, no matter what you think. You are getting the life sucked out of you. And you don't even know it until you don't even know it until you know it. And then it's too late sometimes. Now you're really attached. Now it's really gonna be hell to get out of this situation. And I know a lot of situations that some of you guys are in right now, it's going to be hell to get out of that situation. But you gotta do it, bro. You gotta do it. And nobody is going to get you out of there besides yourself. You have to take the advice that is given and you have to come through. You really have to get the hell out of there and go no contact. Put that wall up and don't let them, don't let them see you. Don't let, you cannot see them and they cannot see you. That's how it has to be. Forget about that person because they are not a real person. And as long as you want to believe that there's hope, it's just going to mess you up even more. I know I held on to certain people in my life that I should never have held on to in the past. Because you think they're not like that, but the truth is they are like that. And they are a lot worse than you think. As you go through life and grow as a person, you start to understand it more and more and more. And then you see them in a different perspective. You see them in a different light. And they always reveal the truth about themselves to you. They will reveal the, their true self to you at one point. It will come out if it hasn't already. And if it has, that should be your biggest sign right there to get the hell out of there. Because sometimes they do take the mask completely off in front of you and show you exactly who they are. And you should believe that when they show you that. (sighs) 
some of you guys might want to stick around because maybe they look good. Maybe they make you feel good temporarily here and there. But that is not even what you think either. It's like a drug. Narcissists are like a drug that you take. You get high off of these people. And drugs are not good. We should not be seeing human beings like drugs. Drugs are dangerous. Drugs turn around and bite you in the ass when you have taken them too many times. And it's no difference from this. Because once you take it so many times, you're going to get hooked. You're going to get hooked to this person. And it's not a good drug. Healthy human beings are like healthy food. You can't get enough of it. This is a perfect example, guys. You can never go wrong with kale salads. Kale and spinach and broccoli and cucumbers and celery and pumpkin cheese pumpkin seeds and avocados all these things all your greens all your vegetables if something feels off a better person it is off trust and believe that If this person is taking energy from you, that is a no-no. If there is a person that is coming into your life that is giving you energy, pour into this person. Give back to this person. Are they giving or taking from you? Because if they're giving, you can give back. As long as somebody is giving, you can give back. And the thing with the narcissists is that They'll give you just a little bit here and there. Just just a little bit, just enough. They might not even give you anything real. They might give you a good piece of a conversation that's gonna keep you around. A sweet little lie that's gonna keep you around. And they're only gonna give you enough because they want to wire you with as much pain as possible. Because that's how sick they actually are. And their friends, they're really the worst. They're just as worse as a relationship with one because they bring you down. They never have anything good to say about you. Never. They make up lies and rumors behind your back. That's not even true. They sabotage you behind your back to make themselves look better than you, to bring themselves up. But in reality, they know that's not even true. This is the sick shit that they do. And they would tear you down behind your back in a heartbeat. And then lie to your face and say they didn't do it. This is all real shit. This is all real shit that happened to me. I know it firsthand. If you guys have any of these types of people in your life, you have to remove them right away. Because if you don't, they're, they're going to get you. Whether you think so or not, they're going to get you. And it stings when they get you. You have to learn a hard lesson sometimes. Sometimes you have to go through the experiences yourself to understand what's actually going on and what is actually happening. Sometimes all the information in the world ain't gonna help you because you won't understand it until it happens to you so many times. This shit happened to me so many times in so many different situations. Now I see clearly. I see everything for what it is. I see people for what they are. I study psychology all this stuff and it's one of the best things you can do with your life if you truly know yourself you can know others if you
you know other people, you are more powerful. You are a more powerful person. If you master yourself, that's even more powerful. When you are so self-educated, every little thing everybody else does is so predictable. And there's, there's these dumbass people that really believe that they are still getting over on you. Or they believe that you don't know what they're actually saying. And it's hilarious. It's hilarious. This shit happened to me before too. In person conversations. There's little things. There's little things you can spot about certain people. There's little things that people will do to make you feel a little bit weird. You're gonna look at that person like, hmm? Hmm? You're just gonna give them those eyes like, you know what I mean? If people make you do this, there's something off with the person. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Confusion. That's what they do. I'm gonna cut this video off now, guys. Just remember, do not bother wasting your time with these people. Do not bother trying to fix or change these people because they are incapable of love and it'll be like that for the rest of their life. They'll be a leech for the rest of their life. They have nothing to give for the rest of their life. Get rid of them. They're only going to take from you and they're not going to love you. They're not going to appreciate you. They're not gonna be there for you. If you get sick, they're not gonna be there for you. I'm out.